Now, once we understand how you can create the layout component, let's take a look at how you can create this panel. Right inside this left panel, I'm going to add an image and I'm going to add two moving clouds. To this div, I'm going to specify some CSS classes. Instead of using Tailwind CSS inside this division tag, I'm going to create a new .css file and add all my custom CSS as well as the Tailwind classes. So inside my Explorer tab right here, inside the styles folder, I'm going to create a new file. Name this file layout.module.css. Now this layout.module.css file is only going to work with this layout component. So I'm going to import this layout at the top right here. I'm going to say import styles from in the single code. I'm going to say double dot forward slash then specify the styles folder and then I'm going to specify the layout module dot CSS file and then I'm going to specify all the styling inside this styling file. Let me close this login and inside this layout dot module I'm going to specify styling to this division tag. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to specify style for this division tag. So inside this layout module dot CSS right here. I'm going to say dot img style and here I'm going to first add the Tailwind CSS classes. Now in the CSS file, you can also use the Tailwind CSS classes. Instead of adding properties and values of CSS, you can add a Tailwind CSS classes here using apply directives. So you have to add here apply and then you can specify your Tailwind classes here. I'm using bg gradient to r. Then I'm going to say here from blue 500. This will specify color from the left to the right side. So I'm going to say here from blue 500 to indigo 500 and then I'm going to specify here rounded L MD. Now this class is going to specify border left radius and border bottom left radius. Now just out of that I'm going to say here position which is relative and then I'm going to say overflow hidden. Save this file. It's not going to do anything. This is because we don't have the style applied to this division tag to apply this. You have to call here class names. You can specify here curly braces and say styles dot the class name. The class name is IMG style. So I'm going to specify that here. When I save the changes, you can see I'm going to have this gradient background color to this image. Just for that inside this div, instead of these images, here I'm going to create another div for the cartoon image. So I'm going to say here class names and then I'm going to specify here class. So let me first create class and then I'm going to specify that to this division tag. So inside this layout.css, right down here, I'm going to say dot cartoon img. And then I'm going to say background is going to be URL. And inside this URL, I'm going to say assets forward slash img2 dot png. Now we already have this file inside the public folder. You can notice inside this asset folder, I'm going to have this img2 dot png file. And then I don't want to repeat this file. So I'm going to say no repeat just out of that let me save this file copy this cartoon img class back to the layout and to this div we specify class name and in the object we specify styles dot cartoon img the property or you can say the class name save this file you're not going to get anything this is because we need to specify some properties here so we first specify position position is going to be absolute then we specify bottom zero left zero right is also going to be zero and top is going to be zero just out of that i'm going to specify width to it width is going to be 100 percent and height is also going to be 100 percent just out of that we need to specify background size which is going to be cover save this file you can see you're going to have this image here just out of that you need to specify position to it so i'm going to say here background position which is going to be 65 percent and 100 pixel save this so this will just move this image to the left side and i'm going to have the image position what i want just out of that right down here we need to specify z index as well z index is going to be one just out of that right down here we need to add clouds as well so we need to create two different division tags so let me create that inside this layout here i'm going to say div and create another div to the first div we specify class names and we create here two classes. First, I'm going to say cloud one, and then I'm going to create cloud two. And then I'm going to specify both these classes to this division tag. Right down here, I'm going to say styles dot cloud one, and then specify here class names 
styles dot cloud two something like this save this file back to the layout module dot css inside this cloud one i'm going to specify first background background is going to be the url i'm going to access the image of the cloud so in the single code i'm going to specify forward slash assets the folder name and then specify cloud underscore one dot png and then specify no repeat because i don't want to repeat this image then specify position which is going to be absolute then specify top top is going to be 65 percent and left is going to be 10 percent after that i'm going to specify width to it width is going to be 180 pixel then height is going to be 100 pixel after that i'm going to specify background size which is going to be content save these changes you can see i'm going to have this cloud here and then i'm going to specify here z index z index is going to be 2 save this we have this cloud on the front of this rock just out of that i want to move this second cloud behind this rock so to this second cloud we specify z index 0 so let's specify styling to this cloud too here i'm going to specify background in the url in the single code we first specify the assets folder then specify cloud 2 dot png and then i'm going to specify here no repeat after that position is going to be absolute and top is going to be 49 percent left is going to be 50 percent and width is going to be 200 pixel then i'm going to specify height which is 100 pixel and background size is going to be content when i save the changes you can see i'm going to have this cloud behind this rock so for the safety we specify here z index which is going to be zero if you want to move this cloud to the front you specify here z index three that will move this cloud to the front of this rock i'm not going to do that i want to specify this cloud behind this rock so i'm going to specify here z index zero just out of that i want to specify animation to both these clouds i want to move these clouds from right to left so to add animation to these clouds right down here i'm going to add css keyframes using css keyframes we can specify different animation to the html element so here i'm going to add add the rate keyframes and then i'm going to specify here animation name which is cloud one now that's upon you you can specify any name to this animation just out of that inside this curly braces we specify the stages so for the zero percent i'm going to specify here transform translate x is going to be to 90 percent and then i'm going to specify 100 percent for the second stage so for the 100 percent here i'm going to specify transform translate x and instead of 290 right now i'm going to say here minus 250 now i'm going to specify this animation to the cloud one let me copy this animation move to the cloud one class and here i'm going to say animation then we specify first the animation name which is cloud one then i'm going to specify the duration which is 25.5 second is in the easing function 5.9 and the animation need to be infinite when i save the changes you can see i'm going to have this moving cloud inside my application now let's do the same thing for the second cloud so right down here i'm going to copy this keyframe and then specify that here and instead of 290 right now i'm going to specify here 160 and i'm going to leave this 100 percent as it is and instead of this cloud one we now specify cloud two copy this and here i'm going to add animation then we specify the animation name which is cloud two duration is going to be 18.5 second is in the easing function 0.9 is the delay and infinite save these changes and now you can see the second cloud is also moving so we have this beautiful animation to this image now at the end what i want when i reload the browser i want to specify this cloud position behind this panel so i'm going to add here translate x property to both these clouds so right here i'm going to say transform translate x for the first cloud we specify 290 percent copy this and for the second cloud we specify 290 percent save this and now you can see 
we don't have these clouds but after a few seconds i'm going to have both these clouds inside this panel now just for now i'm going to stop these animations i'm going to command this statement to stop this animation like this and then i'm going to move to the next panel where we're going to create this login form 